Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be another holiday haul because I am just back from Greece. I actually got back a few days ago, which is why my hair is kind of like this color. It's not purple anymore because the chlorine just made it this color, but I kind of like it this color, so I'm gonna keep it that way. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I have got a tan. I have some funky tan lines on my chest, but I'm not gonna show you them because I feel like that might be a little bit inappropriate. But yeah, I have some good tan lines going on. So anyway, when I was in Greece and when I was going to Greece, as in duty free, um, yeah, so when I was in duty free and when I was in Greece, I bought a few things. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. First thing that I'm gonna show you is um, a little jumper that I got and I actually saw it when we were on a night out and I was a little bit drunk, but I remembered the jumper because as soon as I saw it, I was like, I love that jumper, even though I was drunk. But the next day I was like, I remember that jumper, I am going to go and hunt to find it because I want to get it. So it looks like this, it's Adidas, it is fake by the way, like um, I got a few other things that are not the real brand, they are copies, they are fake. So anyway, this is what it looks like, it just has the Adidas logo, and the, Adidas, the Adidas like word, <laughs> and then it just has the stripes with this floral pattern and I absolutely love it. So it's just white and then it has like grey like marks on it as well so it's a really nice design and the hood's floral as well and inside it is so soft like I wish I could just be like here stroke it and see how soft it is but obviously I can't. So this was 38.99 euros. Don't really know how much that is in pounds but yeah. So next I got a couple pairs of Converse, like I said, like with the jumper, these aren't real, these are fake, but to me they look pretty real to me. These were only like 15 euros or something, so I decided to get the black high tops and the reason how you can tell they're fake is because of this bit here, like yeah, this is the bit that looks the fakest. And they have like the all star bit on the back as well. Yeah, that's what they look like. I used to have high top black Converse years ago. And then when I saw these, I was like, oh, I just want them again. Like I said, these were 15 euros. So I got another pair of Converse. These ones are the low white ones. And when I was in Greece, like when we were shopping, we were shopping at Star Beach, like the wee strip market area street. I don't really know how to describe it, but if you've ever been to Greece, hopefully you know where I'm talking about. And um, I went to a different shop to get these ones because where I got the high top ones, they didn't have these in stock. I was like a different size uh, in these than I am in the black high top ones. So when you go to Greece or a foreign country, I'd highly recommend you try the different sizes. I think because they're like fake copies, like you can be a size in one shop and then a different size in the other which that happened to me so this is what they look like I do need to do up the laces um but yeah they've just got the converse all start on the back they look like converse the only thing again the thing that makes them look the fake way is the label here but I don't really care <laughs> they were 15 euros so yeah I just like to say that I have tried both of those shoes on and even though they are fakes they're still really comfortable so I'm happy with paying 30 euros for two pairs of Converse rather than paying however much it is for two pairs of real ones because hashtag skint life. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you was in like a little street corner shop and it's this little hair bow. I just absolutely love scrunchies and I want to get a few more pairs of scrunchies because someone asked me to do another video on like styling your hair with scrunchies because I've already done a video on that. Um, so yeah, this is going to be featured in that video. I just need to get a few more scrunchies. And this was only like two euros. And it says like the eBay logo on there. Like, but it's not actually spelled eBay. It's spelled E-B-U-Y instead of A-Y. But yeah, so this was only two euros and it's so cute. So I got the black opium YSL perfume, but this is not real. This is also another fake thing. Um, but it actually smells amazing, so I don't really care that it's not the real thing because it smells so good. This was only like 12 euros, I think, and I don't know how much the real perfume is. Probably a lot more, and the scent probably lasts a lot longer and is a lot stronger, but yeah. It just smells 
so good and I need to test how long it lasts on my skin but honestly scents like these are amazing and yes it's a perfume to add to my collection so they were all the things that I bought in Greece. Now I'm gonna show you what I bought at Duty Free. So the first one is this OPI nail polish. I have not actually owned an OPI nail polish before, but I have heard really, really good things about them. So I decided to go for this like pinky, purpley, kind of like a hint of blue, sparkly one. And it's so gorgeous and I want to paint my nails, but in the job that I am in now, um, I can't paint my nails. This was like £9.90 so you get a little bit off it at duty free so I'm so excited to paint my nails one day that I'm not working because this colour is amazing. And I just feel like the whole OPI like brand has such a good quality like the brush is really thick so you'll be able to like paint your nails very nicely and yeah it's like 15 mils you get so that'll last me a while. Next, I got a few things from MAC. I love MAC. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is this blush, and this is called Petal Powder. This is a mineralized blush. And when I was at the Duty Free stand, because I was at Edinburgh Airport, I did not expect me to buy a blush. I was literally wanting a liquid lipstick, which I will show you in a second, and I kinda wanted the bronzer, but I didn't know whether I was gonna get it. I, of course I got it. And then I saw this, which I did not expect to buy. I did not want to spend money like I didn't want like obviously I wanted to spend money but I didn't want to buy three things I really only wanted to buy one or two but this was too beautiful to say no so this is a mineralized blush so it's just like in a compact you can't buy this in the pan like some of the other blushers it's in a compact like this and this color is stunning it's like a pinky corally rose gold color and I've just, I fell in love with it and I was like, I have to get it, I have to. Because, like I say with most of my makeup products, I can use it on myself and I'm definitely, definitely gonna put this in my kit because I can't wait to wear it on myself and put it on other people because I just think this color will suit all skin tones and it's amazing for this time of year. So yeah, I am in love with this and I think, I can't remember the price of this. I need to find the receipt and I will put it um, on the screen somewhere how much this was. So next I got the bronzer. This is a Give Me Sun bronzer. So it just looks like this. It's not clear like the other one. And you just open it up and this is what it looks like. This has a mirror, which I think is really, really nice for on the go because I'm one to top up my powder and my bronzer, nothing really else. Um, so yeah, this will be really, really good for me if I'm bringing it in my bag for wherever I'm going. If I need to top up, it's good that it's got a mirror. It's really handy. I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this bronzer in their videos. For instance, like Glitter A Little, she used this in a few of her videos and it just looked amazing on her skin. So yeah, that's what it looks like there. It's a matte bronzer. So yeah, I'm really excited to wear it on myself and my clients. It just... Is amazing like it has no shimmer I don't really think you contour with it because it is quite warm but definitely for bronzing up the skin this will be beautiful and again just like the blusher I don't know how much this was I need to find the receipt but I will put on the screen how much I got it for so last but definitely not least I got a MAC liquid lipstick they released these like a couple months ago I believe and I saw a lot of youtubers show them in their videos and I just saw them in the MAC stand. Like when I worked in House of Freezers, every time I went around to MAC, I always saw them and I just never picked them up. And now I have one. This is called Lady Be Good. So this is one of the nude ones. And you do get quite a lot of product in these. Five mils you get. And I really like the applicator. It's like a tapered tip and the sponge is really nice. I actually have this on just now. So that's what it looks like on my wrist there. And this is what it looks like on. These are really, really pigmented and they are matte, but they're not too drying. However, I had this on my lips and because I ate and I was drinking, it kind of came off a little bit, so I thought I would put another layer on. And just now, it doesn't feel overly drying, but it does, I can definitely feel it on my lips and it's a tiny bit drying. Hopefully that makes sense, but I'm just trying to give you the gist of how it feels on my lips after like two layers, pretty much. Again, just like the other MAC products, I will put the price of what I paid for this liquid lipstick on the screen just now. 
So guys, that's everything I bought whilst I was on holiday and at duty free. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!